Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. Today we're going to be doing a book review. I did one on Tuesday. I will link it up in the cards if I can link it up in the cards. The cards have been a nightmare for me recently, so we'll see what happens. Um, today I'm doing a book review of a book that was sent to me by Melville House Publishing. This comes out in January 2020. Um, I do not have an exact date here on the book, so if you're interested, you can go on to Goodreads. I will link the Goodreads link of this book down in the description. Um, this is Witches, The Transformative Power of Women and Working Together by Sam George Allen. Um, so, let's see. Um, first of all, this book I requested because I got very excited by the blurb saying this. Coven's girl bands, ballet troops, and convents in all times, places, girls, and women have gotten together in communities on vocation of necessity and support. And whenever women gather, magic happens. I fell in love with that blurb. I got so excited and so stoked and I knew that I had to get my hands on this. So I reached out to the publisher and I requested it and I was lucky enough to be granted a copy. Now, this book is absolutely right up there with so many of my feminist favorite nonfictions. It has a really beautiful way of speaking. It has a really well executed way of exploring female ideas and bodies. Um, so for this, it breaks it down into sections. So you have teen girls, girl bands, makeup, sports women, dancers, trans women, midwives, sex workers, farmers, matriarchal societies, nuns, Aunt Dawn Daylight, and witches. It is awesome. Just awesome. So you break down all of these different ones and they almost almost read like essays, I would say. The thing is, you dive into each of these conversations about women and each of these subject matters about women and you learn from each of the chapters what about these women would be so intense or change or um, be productive in society or how that looks or what that looks like, what they do in society to help, what they do in society that harms, what they do in society that changes and how they can affect the world. Um, so the very beginning, which is chapter one, which is the teen girls, this is the the start of it and it says this emotion outside the cinema like a creep i am watching teenagers here at the bisbane south bank in the cineplex they line up for tickets of the cold shoulder tops and jeans torn at the thighs and calves i am sitting at the gloom by the arcade machine thinking about the impenetrable fog between me and them between me and now and me and then Every once in a while, I think I can glimpse my former self, but then in the time of distance snatches her away, I barely remember what it was like to be a teenage girl. All I remember is the multicolored pounding of my huge, vicious, terrifying emotions. So you start off with that, and it just, it builds, and it grows, and it explores, and it dives into this feminist, bold, interesting, intricate world, and you decide, uh, you design women in their, in their, in their given space and in their, in their rightful place in terms of powerful and, um, cooperative and bold and active and just in all cases in general, more aware um and more allowed to be aware and it's just so beautiful and I love it so much and you get to see these really intricate conversations about women and their experiences within the world and how that is affected um I really thought it was an excellent book I really was happy with it it was a surprise I honestly always love Melville books and the reason I request them when I do is because I find that I really do 
respond well to them. They always publish some very interesting books, some very poignant books, and give a lot of um value to their point. Um, and a lot of them hold a very strong activism to them. I've worked with them before and I feel like in general they're just so on top of trends and not trends, but they're so on top of um activism and and uh general population concerns that need to be addressed and they really know what's going on and they try and put out the best content they possibly can and I think that this book is no exception it really takes the me too movement and explores it in a more valuable way and it gives it a more interesting light and voice it explores the ideas of structure and um society and the way that the world views women and sees women and how women actually are treated in general and it just gives this overall feeling of emotion and value to the intrinsic woman experience. I really loved it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a really valuable piece of work and I think it's a really awesome um, it's a really awesome idea and a really you know, purposeful um, book. I, I just, I really appreciated it. So I would definitely recommend it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button down below. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will have a link in the description. There is a dollar that will get you into my book club and you will be able to join me there. I would love to talk to you in the comments. I would love to talk to my Patreons and my subscribers. I love you all greatly. I will talk to you there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.